Hello everyone. My name is Sujita. I am teacher at Jagran Public School, Varanasi. Today, I am going to tell about history topic, the Delhi Sultanate. So, Delhi Sultanate here presenting for class 7. Delhi Sultanate was an Islamic empire based in Delhi that stretched over large parts of the Indian subcontinent for 320 years. Here is the picture of foundation of Muslim rule in India, ruling dynasties. Moving ahead to the next slide, we just come to know about the Delhi Sultanate. Delhi Sultanate had some following dynasties such as the slave Mamluk dynasty AD 1206 to 1290, the Khaljis AD 1290 to 1320, next the Tughlaqs AD 1320 to 1413, the Shayyad AD 1414 to 1451 and at last the Lodis AD 1451 to 1526. Moving ahead to the next slide, we just come to know about the slave dynasty. AD 1206 to 1210. Here we know about who was Qutubuddin Ebuk. Qutubuddin Ebuk was the first ruler of the slave dynasty. He ruled from AD 1206 to 1210. He was an able ruler and was very kind and generous with his people. Due to his good nature, he earned the title of Lakhbaksh. He built two mosques, Kuwait ul Islam in Delhi and Dhai Din ka Jhopra in Ajmer. He died after an accidental fall while playing polo in AD 1210. Next slide about Irtutmish. Irtutmish AD 1211 to 1236. He was the son-in-law of Ebak. He ruled from AD 1211 to 1236. Under his strong governance, the slave dynasty was able to find a strong footing and establish itself as an important king. He assumed the title of Shamsuddin. Before his death in 1236 AD, he nominated his daughter Razia as his successor. Now we will have a glance about Razia Sultan. A.D. 1236 to 1240, Razia was the first Muslim woman who was involved in the throne of Delhi. She was very wise and excellent administrator, brave and a warrior like her father. Kaikwad was the last ruler of slave dynasty. So next we are going to know about the Khaljis. Here he mentioned about Khaljis. A.D. 1290 to 1320, Jalaluddin Khalji. Jalaluddin Khalji was the founder and first sultan of the Khalji dynasty that ruled the Delhi Sultanate from 1290 to 1320. He was killed by his nephew Alauddin Khalji and then announced himself as the ruler of Delhi. So, moving ahead to the next slide about Alauddin Khalji, AD 1296 to 1316. Alauddin Khalji was the most powerful emperor of the Khalji dynasty that ruled the Delhi Sultanate in the Indian subcontinent. Alauddin instituted a number of significant administrative changes related to revenues, price controls, and society. The last Khalji ruler, Khusro Khan, was killed by Ghiasuddin Tughlaq, who founded the Tughlaq dynasty in India. So, moving ahead to the next slide, we just come to know about the Tughlaqs, AD 1320 to 1413. Muhammad bin Tughlaq is known as a confused genius. He was a capable administrator and commander and a good scholar. However, he was a man who thought ahead of the times. Muhammad was succeeded by his cousin Firoz Shah Tughlaq. Firoz became the next ruler. After his death, Tughlaq's dynasty became weak. Now, we will look forward 
some important points. Number 1. In 1398, Taimur from Central Asia attacked India. Number 2. Delhi was influenced after his attack. Number 3. Taimur appointed Khizra Khan as the governor of Multan and Sindh and left India. And last one, later Khizra Khan founded the Sayyid dynasty. In next slide, we just come to know about the Sayyid, A.D. 1414 to 1451. Khizra Khan was the first ruler of Sayyid dynasty. He ruled over Delhi from 1414 to 1421 AD. After his death in 1421, the rule of the Sayyid dynasty was taken over by Mubarak Shah. Now, we just come to know who was Mubarak Shah. Mubarak Shah was a man of vision and could have revived the old glory of the Sultanate. After his death, the dynasty did not last long and Bahlol Lodi and Afghan nobles established the Lodi's dynasty in 1451. Just next slide, we just come to know about the Lodi's. AD 1451 to 1526. Who was Sikandar Lodi? Sikandar Lodi was the Sultan of Delhi and the second ruler of the Lodi dynasty after Bahlol Lodi. He was the most successful sultan of Lodi dynasty. He shifted the capital of the Sultanate from Delhi to Agra. He was succeeded by Ibrahim Lodi. Now we just come to know Ibrahim Lodi. AD 1517 to 1526. He was the last sultan of the Delhi Sultanate. He has been described as an arrogant man who treated the Afghan nobles with little respect. The nobles revolted and invited Baba, the king of Kabul, to help them overthrow Ibrahim Lodi, taking advantage of the situation. Baba invaded India. He defeated and killed Ibrahim Lodi in the first battle of Panipat fought in AD 1526. Come to the next slide. Thank you for very much for watching this video and have a nice day.